Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. I'm about to start an executive package. Uh, one of my higher packages, not the highest, but it's rather pricey, but it matches this vehicle. It's a BMW Alpina B7 twin turbo, 600 horsepower beast. What I'm gonna do is break it into two parts because it's rather lengthy. My recording equipment can only capture so much and hold it in memory. Um, so we'll release the first part today. I'll let a couple days go by, release the second part, and I hope you enjoy. And another thing I'll do a little bit differently, give my voice a break. I'll break down what I'm doing at the beginning, let the footage roll, let you relax and enjoy the footage without somebody talking over it the whole time. And uh, we'll let it go, and let it be at that. So enjoy, guys. The BMW Alpina B7 is amongst a rarefied group of fully appointed, ultra-high-performance luxury sedans. The B7 is propelled by a 4.4-liter twin-turbocharged V8 that generates 600 horsepower and 590 pounds-foot of torque. I've had many questions asking about my process for higher-end details. I've been asked to do videos on them, so I will honor that right now. I'm going to do a video on every step but just record some of the more important parts of each step. And I'm going to let the footage run. If you have any questions, guys, just let me know down in the comment section. Just quick wanted to chime in here. I do the engine bay detail right after the wash decontamination, but before the correction. So I don't have to open the hood anymore. And this is done mostly with a rinseless wash product. 
Very rarely will I get the pressure washer out. If I do, it's going to be the Kraus and Becker that has just very little moisture to it, but more pressure than anything else. This will be uh, just enough to clean up the engine bay compartment. We're going to dress it and we're going to move on. With only 10,000 miles, you can see how quickly and easily these things get contaminated here. So what I wanted to show you here was I do a panel prep, and you can use whatever you have. It doesn't matter. Just go over it and remove any old waxes, sealants, oils, greases. You don't know if it's been waxed uh, before they set it out on the lot or um, maybe just shortly before they came for the details. So you want to remove that, or that can get uh, clogged up into your correction pads, making them less effective. And this just saves me some time, saves my pads.
We now have everything cleaned bumper to bumper. We also have the wheels cleaned and protected. They're out of the way. They're going to get covered soon. This is what we're going to go after next. We're going to start the correction. As you can see on the top of the hood here, we have some love marks, some swirls, but most of them are going to be towards the outside of the doors, the mirror, the furthest points of the car. And we want to protect now anything that could be um, roughed up from our pads or the backing plate. Protect your backside, guys. Even if it's your own car, uh, take the time, do a little protection on parts that are exposed. And right here, you can see exactly what I was after. I am going to correct these uh, pillars, the piano, black piano finished pillars as well. So we have everything around them corrected. The wheels that are perfectly clean and protected are now tucked away. They're going to stay clean throughout the process. All right, that's going to be it for the first part of the video. We have everything cleaned and prepped ready for correction. It's going to be a one or two step correction, depending on what it takes to remove all the imperfections. Most of the imperfections are on the, the outside uh, points of this vehicle, because I believe it might have been run through a car wash uh, a few times. So I'll catch you guys in the second video. Love working on this thing. Everything about it screams quality, luxury, and performance all wrapped up in, in one little package. Well, one quite big package, actually. This thing is pretty big, it's pretty long, and it's pretty heavy. But it's beautiful, and uh, it's it's been a pleasure to work on it so far. So we'll get back to the second part of this series where we do the correction. We're going to show the protection that was chosen. I'll show you how we lay that down. We'll let it cure and show you the finished package as a whole. Catch you guys in the next one.